All right, guys. <clears throat> Something that's been heavy on my heart lately is the thought about inconsequential things and putting so much energy in these inconsequential things that you are taking away from your family or other things that really matter. And uh, I mean, I notice it happening to myself at times, you know, being mad at that driver who cuts me off or person in line who's got 27 coupons uh where at the end of the day did it really cost you any time did it really negatively impact your life and i would say that it didn't but yet we get spent up about it we get boiled up and uh it's just stuff that doesn't matter and I think that's one of the ways that we get tangled up in this world is that we get tangled up with all these details, but that's exactly what the enemy wants us to do is get tangled up in that stuff. Because if we're tangled up in all that stuff, we're not listening to the word. We're not, you know, we're not concentrating on what we need to be concentrating on. We're, we're concentrating on what he wants us to concentrate on. So I, I would just say, you know, think about your life, and it, it's something I'm trying to do, like literally minute to minute, is think about things, if they're a huge impact in my life or not, and if not, I'm going to let it go. Uh, talking to a brother earlier, and uh, about an issue, and, and, you know, one of the things I told him is I said, you know, sometimes what we have to do is just get out of the way. Because a lot of times we try to take care of it and we get in the way. Um, so that'd be another thing I'd say think about is like, are you in the way? Are you getting in your own way? If you're getting in your own way, step aside. Lay your burdens down. Don't get involved. I, I truly believe that the Lord wants us to have a simple life. And anytime that my life's been difficult, it's been, it's been because... I've made things overcomplicated. So reflect on that. I mean, reflect on those three things and just, just think about it for yourself. And anytime I've decided to step away, it's like things fall into place. And it's amazing. I, you know, I mean, last week's a great point in case. Five guys unloaded two 53-foot semi-trucks full of stuff, including my old butt. Before the second load went, I'm staring at the trailer with two rows of eight boxes in it that are 77 miles that way, because that's what it looked like. And I'm sitting there going, driver's gonna be here in two and a half hours. There's no way we're getting this done. There's no way we're getting this loaded. And then, by the way, after we loaded it, we had to drive downtown Dallas to unload it. Um, I'm like, this. there's no way. This ain't happening. Had to send a couple of guys ahead forward to get some stuff done. And I'm looking at this, and I'm like, this is insurmountable. There's no way we're going to do it. And so I chucked that aside and said, you know what, we're just gonna work, we'll get what we can done, and we'll go. And literally the next thing you know is the guy's pulling up in his in his semi. We've almost loaded this entire trailer, me and another guy, uh, with a third guy that started helping right at the end, but that was like forklift work. But, and both smoked. Uh, I mean, my back still hurts today, but absolutely insurmountable, but threw it aside and said, you know what? Just do it. I'm not going to overthink this. I'm not going to, I'm not going to be negative. I'm, I'm just going to do it. And that's what we ended up doing. Just doing it. So 
I think God wants our lives to be easy. We just get in the way. So get out of your way. Make things simple and have fun.